Before the video starts, I just want to say a massive thank you to all my friends and everyone that came to the shop and helped me get that car done. It wouldn't have been done without everyone's help because it was so much work and such little time, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. But enjoy the video. What's going on guys, it's Anthony and we're back with another video. And this one's gonna be a fun one, all right? We're gonna be installing the wide body kit I bought. If you guys missed the video, click right up here, I think. I could be on the wrong side. But click the tab up there, it's gonna link you guys to us unboxing the kit. But today we're actually going to be installing the kit. Never done a wide body, but I've watched a lot of YouTube videos, so I shouldn't be too hard. We're gonna find out though, but uh, I'm excited. I can't wait to get started unlocking this thing up. <laughs> While I wait for them, I got blue painter's tape. Uh, I'm gonna tape off everywhere where the kit will be touching the paint. And that's for a couple reasons. One, so I'm not scratching up the paint. And for number two, once I get the kit on it, I can draw on it, put markings on it, figure out where I wanna cut, draw lines. So I'm not drawing on the actual paint itself. About time to get here. Car is already done, cut up, Good. done. We're, we're done now. Wait, you get yourself some food? Yeah, what's the critter doing? Critter's doing critter things. Fuck off. This is as far as we got. But I messed with the alignment all day today. I might regret this. I might not. Oh, I don't want to do it. I feel like I should have drilled holes in this and then mocked it up. But I already have it all like perfect. We tested the skirts up. I hold it. We had like three people, three or four people holding them. Everything fitted pretty nice. We have the way we want, so I figure I can just smoke the hole while it's already like taped up. Hope I don't screw this up, but hopefully this is where I want it. Cause... Oh, I'm nervous. Guys, go for it. I can't see this. I want to make sure I'm getting it in the center. Oh, that hurts. That hurts so bad. But just to temporarily mock it up before we start doing like actual like, hardware. These will hold it tight in the way it's going to sit. It'll be worth it, right? I lost the pliers. That's all I'm telling myself that it will be worth it in the end. <laughs> Why well, just bolt this whole thing up and smoke these holes and it's not even in the right spot though? Don't say that. So we had the front and the rear and then we kind of mocked up the skirts by holding them up but i didn't want to go any further than pinning in the rear half and continue going and something not line up so i wanted to make sure i get all this taped up i like the way the fitment is uh this kit actually fits very nicely um obviously i know it's not gonna be perfect i have really bad ocd but i'm out here exposing myself but i mean not really i mean it fits uh 
I just don't get why they did this with the skirts. I'm gonna have to do body work and mold it together somehow. And like, it doesn't really like fit over it right, so you gotta kind of squeeze it when we go to bolt it so it's bolting in the right spot or else it's way high. And then it wasn't fitting back there right. It was, I don't know, I just don't understand. But I like the way this looks. I like the fitment, it's all lined up pretty well. Uh, I've noticed people have, from the people that have this kit on already, there's gaps there, some gaps in here, and garbage even like right in here where it's kind of sagging, which once this is all bolted together, there will be a bolt between there, like on the back side holding it together. But like even right here, dude, I've seen people with like some gnarly gaps. And I'm just not about it. I'm trying to have this as clean as I can possibly make it. So this is where we're at right now. I'm probably gonna continue smoking holes through the skirts. This, I love it, but I hate it at the same time. It's, woo, keep on going. There's only one way to go now. Gatlinburg's a month away. We gotta have this car done by, and it's crunch time. So we got both sides mocked up. I obviously did not put the front piece in because the bumper is broken. I have a new one, it's coming. Well, I actually started here, it's just at my house. I gotta bring it here. But I got this side mounted up too, and honestly, it's growing on me, besides my fitment's whack, but it's really growing on me that seeing it in person, not just a render online, because the render always looks a little goofy, but like this, it flows pretty well. The one thing I will show you that needs body work, and I already knew this going into it, it's a little worse than I thought, but should be able to get this done. Maybe have a body shop help me out or something. I don't know, I think I can do it though. I just gotta research some stuff, get it all figured out. But if you guys are doing a wide body, these Clico pins are the greatest thing ever. Don't use self tappers. Obviously I still have actual hardware I have to put in. But the next step is I need to get my wheels rebuilt. Uh, I'm almost done doing that. Probably be in a different video, not this one. And then I have to mark what I'm going to cut to run the wheels. It's cutting day, there's no going back after this. We got the line drawn, and we don't know what we're doing, we're just gonna start cutting. It's easiest, I don't know. It's gonna hurt, cause there's no going back. I don't think there's much to hide. to steam seal it and just do all the other little stuff. Unfortunately, there's no one here today to help me record, but we got the rear cut and welded, grinded off, everything's ready to be sealed. Front's cut. I don't know if I'm gonna seam seal that front. I haven't decided. Probably won't. I think I'm just gonna primer where the bare metal cut is, but uh, <laughs> new wall art but yeah so i got it all taped off and i'm just gonna put gloves on and lay a nice bead and kind of smear it out and then you gotta make sure you keep uh seal the cuts from where you cut like that too we're all finished sealing uh it may not be the prettiest but 
everything's covered a lot harder than I thought it was going to be to do this. And I wish this was black too. I tried to find black and I could not find metal, silicone. That was also like weatherproof and all that. And black. At, I was at Lowe's. But anyways, it's all sealed. It will get the job done. I'm going to primer. My bad. I'm going to primer over everything. Just so everything's painted. So any little bare metal that's still left showing. And anything through the primer will all be covered. I don't want any rust. I want to keep this about as perfect as can be. I know I cut it up, but it'll look sick when it's finished, I promise. Well, we'll wait for that to dry. We're gonna move on to the next thing, which I already started because I wanted to get like a feel for it before I started recording, so I knew what I was actually doing, but it's putting the final hardware in. Uh, looks a lot better than I thought it was going to. I was kind of worried about, I mean, Grant, the car is not the color it's gonna be, but I didn't really know how the, I was going to like bolts and I'm not a, I'm eventually this will probably go molded is all I got to say. I'm not a huge hardware guy. I do like hardware, but this kit's a little too much for me. Like there's a lot of bolt holes, as I've said in this video, I think. But we're going to get all this stuff put into the car, which this one's all done. I just had a couple put in just to mock it up, but I still got to do all along the whole car. Which it's not hard, it's just time consuming. So they on the beat, wait. So I wanna tell you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys made it to the end, you're a real one. For all you guys that are probably so confused on what's going on right now, because the last video you guys saw, I was in another shop, wide bodying the car. I'm gonna answer them right here for you. If you're wondering why there's no wheels on the front, that's because it doesn't fit on a trailer with the front wheels on. So I just haven't had time to put the wheels back on. Long story short, while I was recording all those clips, um, crunch time hit hard and I didn't even have time to finish recording the final process of installing the kit, molding it. Uh, it just got really hectic. I, I tried to record us wrapping it, but it was literally just so much to do in such little time. I was literally working 50 plus hours a week on top of working on the car after work. It got to the point where I was literally coming home, going to the shop, working on the car until 12 at night, driving 45 minutes home, just, it was, it was a lot. And I just didn't have time to record. And some nights I was there by myself. Kayla was always there with me for the most part, but it was just, she was helping me. So it was hard to record, but the car got done in time for Gatlinburg. I actually finished it while we were still down in Gatlinburg. Uh, crazy dude. I, when I said I really wanted this done for Gatlinburg, I meant it. And it took every single minute to get this thing ready for the show on Sunday. So I apologize for not making any videos, but trust me, there's still so much content that I want to do with this car. Like, this is just the beginning. I mean, I had done such little to it, and there's only so much more to come. Like, there's so much news that you guys just don't even know. I want to tell you guys, but I can't tell you just yet. And I'm going to explain where I am in another video. But I just want to say, here's the car. Fully done for the most part. This is how it looked in Gatlinburg. I haven't had plans of recording videos while in Gatlinburg, and just none of it happened. I was so worried about getting the car done. I skipped out on a couple days of even going out just to stay inside the cabin and get the car done. I should have recorded it. I'm sorry I didn't. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this kit. Um, it looks 10 times better seeing this kit in person than it did in renders or mocked up on the car. Um, I just want to know your guys' thoughts because I don't think there's a video on YouTube of people talking about this or installing this even. And this is at the very end, so I know not many people are going to watch it. But I just want to know your guys' thoughts because I think this kit turned out amazing and it's so aggressive. It really reminds me of a Rallyback or FRS kit. I don't know if any of you guys agree, but that's the vibe I get from it and I love it. 
If you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe. Don't want to miss out. It's still a lot of great content coming. Uh, if you don't follow my socials, always down in the description. Uh, this car you would have seen a month ago then because I'm more up to date on my Instagram than YouTube. I'm always a little behind on making videos and being able to have time to edit them. But I'm trying to get better. So don't miss out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.